transitioning to the NBA. Um, over the past couple of days, or I think two or three days ago, some beef happened in the NBA. Oh, no. uh, Bradley Beal and Kent Bazemore went at it because after a Warriors game where Steph completely went off, I think he had like 40 points, 40 plus points in like 29 minutes, Bazemore said, then we got guys hurting the hamstrings trying to keep up, so y'all got to do some research on that. And obviously the guy <laughs> who hurt his hamstring oh. was Bradley Beal. And Bradley Beal didn't take too kindly to the comment. He tweeted out, you don't know why I go out there and play, <laughs> and it ain't, and it ain't, it damn sure ain't for another man's approval. Beal wrote in a tweet directed uh, uh, towards Bazemore. He said, you a straight lame. <laughs> he continued. Straight lame. And said, it's funny you say that you, you this guy's, Grammar's bad. <laughs> it's, it's funny. It's funny you say that because your man's admittedly checked my numbers before the game, mm. but I'm chasing. Mm. And then Bazemore said this to defend himself after. I guess you can't joke anymore. I don't say things to ruffle feathers, but if you want to know what my loyalty is, it's to Curry. Anyone out there chasing him, it's going to be tough. <laughs> and then Beal went on first take as well and, you know, talked about how he had a problem with Bazemore. Basically, you know, making a joke about his injury and stuff because, you know, he doesn't think it's something you joke around about. But he basically thinks that Kent Bazemore is a straight lame <laughs> for saying oh, it. Man. And, you know, oh, as man. we know, Riv, anything negative that happens to Beal, his wife will be involved. <laughs> of course, be of course. Uh, it's Beal and Westbrook, I yes. swear. <laughs> hey, you gotta have strong wife. That's a ride and die. For oh, real. yeah. You gotta yeah, have course, strong wife. And she came out at she her, came out she at pulled the stats out. Shout She's, out to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <nah, she, laughs> let's talk about your career, Kent Bazemore. 8.9.2. Sure. And she called Kent Bazemore goofy. Oh, man. So, I mean, what do you guys think about this beef? And listen, before you go, Riv, you know, we're going to start with you, Osei. Uh, <laughs> the whole time. Go. So we got to start with you, man. Nah, nah, definitely. Thank you. But nah, I feel as though Bismarck was out of line for saying that because you shouldn't make a joke about somebody's injury. <laughs> Number one, I understand it was a joke. I do feel it was like a genuine joke because, you know, he's on Curry's side, Curry's team, same, you know, same teams whatsoever, whatsoever else may be that, that may be. But still, like Bradley Beal definitely is a better player. And you're coming at him <laughs> from a place of like, you're not that good of a player coming at it's like Tristan Tom Tristan Thompson coming at LeBron. Even though <laughs> the word X team is like saying something about LeBron, it's like there's a level of you know there's a, there's a gap there that there's you should not to it. Yeah, there's levels there's to levels it, you know? It. And he's injured. You shouldn't make jokes about injury. I do understand it was like an actual I think it was a genuine joke, honestly. But you don't come at somebody like that. And they just lost the game too. So come on. So Don't devil's advocate, you think it was a genuine joke, or do you think because Bradley Beal was like you were straight lame? Nah, <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think I think I think I think it like, was I think it was a genuine genuine joke, a little bit of a genuine joke, but he shouldn't have made that joke overall. I don't think he should have done that. That was just out of place, out of pocket. So I'm gonna focus on Bradley Beal coming back at Kent Bazemore. Because, you show me the tweets. <laughs> yeah, I was rolling at the. Oh my gosh! Because you know what? I mean, Kent Bazemore is not that great of a player. His best years came with what Atlanta. Maybe I think the most he's averaged is like thirteen point nine points per game when uh, Kobe was was really really old and like they just need people to score. Um, other than that, what is he like eight point something? Like eight point nine per game for his career. When Bradley Beal averaged more than Kent Bazemore's career high for a season in his rookie season. Bradley Beal is obviously the, the much better player. Bradley Beal should have been All-NBA last year. Um, yes. <laughs> um, but I feel like if you're that type of player, that caliber, um, I also think that Bradley Beal is a top 15 player in the league, but uh, that's another discussion for another time. Wow. But uh, we, went, we went viral for that one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, 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 come oh. On. I know you did. I know you did. That was ridiculous. Come on, <laughs> I'm sure come on, Bradley Beal's wife went at us for that one. <laughs> come on, y'all. She probably would come at you. And every single her. Wizards reporter. <laughs> we got blocked by like three accounts. Yeah, we got blocked. He got blocked. Oh, what? Yeah, we got blocked for responding. <laughs> we, got blocked. we got blocked for responding because they added us. What? No, they didn't even add us. No, they they posted our video. Wait, who added you? Who added y'all? Some uh, podcast, this girl, like TikTok, or, or another podcast. Or this is on Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, wow, this girl man. on uh, that covers the Wizards. She added us, and I was, and I genuinely said, I said, yo, like, how is he? He said, Ray join Allen? the pod. Yeah, <laughs> come said, through, said, like, join the pod. He's Whoa. not hearing that. <laughs> I... And like, you can't say stuff like that if you're not gonna join the pod. But um, yeah, I mean, I think you know Bradley Bill. Obviously, everyone knows what type of player he is. Uh, he's a huge reason. Obviously, Russell Westbrook is, of course, but Bradley Beal is that second reason as to why the Wizards are going to get into the playing game. 
and uh, hopefully, you know, have a chance. I'd love to see them go further than just the play-in game and actually have a seed in the playoffs. So to me, Kent Bazemore, in terms of basketball aficionados, yeah, Kent Bazemore is pretty lame in terms of, you know, just talent, skill, overall, yeah. basketball, efficacy, yeah, Kent Bazemore, Bradley Beal, no discussion in terms of that. So to me, I mean, yes, it was wrong to come at the dude's hamstring. To me, I'm kind of looking at that situation. If I was an athlete, like, okay, a little bit of a low blow, bro. You feel me? You're going to you come took it personal. Me. Exactly. I took that personally. And, you know, keep in mind, athletes will take things personally, as we know from the Michael Jordan. came from. <laughs> athletes will make uh, up things to take personally. This course. was not anything to take personally that was made up. It was actually, dude, your hamstring got messed up because you were trying to chase Steph Curry. Okay. I don't think Bradley Beal is, uh, you know, he went on first take, like you said, and, and basically said, I'm not chasing the scoring title. I just want to win games. I think it'd be pretty cool for Bradley Beal to beat Steph and Curry, the greatest shooter ever, for that scoring title. So I do think he was probably chasing. I know Steph probably looked at the thing, too, because Steph cares a lot about his stats and his legacy. Um, but overall, there's no reason for Bradley Beal to re- even respond and stoop down to that level. To me, you're talking down to a dude who is far below you in terms of basketball as a whole. Kent Bazemore, your career was cool. You had a nice little run with the Hawks and Jeff Teague and Kyle Korver and those boys. But Bradley Beal has a chance to go to the Hall of Fame if he wins more. Yeah, I said that. Come on. <laughs> Bradley Beal is a talented dude, one of the easiest, most pure scorers I've seen in the last decade. And to me, to steep down to a level like that, Kent Bazemore, just don't even let it rock. Or don't even say anything and let it rock. And it's funny because Bradley Beal actually tweeted and said, should I let him rock? Or should I go at him? He did ask the fans. And then he went at him. So I would have opted for it. Just let it rock, bro. Are you a Bradley Bill fan? I'm a Bradley Bill fan. <laughs> okay. I like Bradley Bill. I see Bill. all these comments. I love the looks like that Bradley we're giving you was like, huh? Bradley Bill being the huh? one Famer. of the best pure okay. score, yeah. But is Bradley Bill going to the Hall of Fame or, or, or no? That Hall is just, I, think, I, I think he will. I, I didn't say I first ballot. I just it. said, Mitch will Richardson make, is in it. Will he make the Hall of Fame? Like Mitch, Mitch Richardson, who? the Mitch basketball, Richardson. not even NBA. Like just for being good at at That's what ridiculous. he does. Mitch Richardson averaged twenty points deep. per game. Mm. Yes, He's so. gonna make the Hall of Fame. Bradley Beal's gonna make the Hall of Fame. <laughs> 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 gonna make. Does he deserve to make the Hall of Fame? He has to win, man. He has to win. Um. I didn't like some of the things you said. Uh, <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of curry jabs going on in there. But um, uh, no, yeah. Steph is the great. Are you a Steph Curry fan? Yeah. Okay, I'm, there I'm we go. Fan. I'm a Steph diehard fan. Steph fan. It's more okay. of a Kent okay. Bazemore okay. jab. You feel nah, me? yeah. Um, nah, if I'm in Bradley Bill's shoes, uh, like, look at him, bro. He's not that good. <laughs> he's he's not no, that I get good. paid over $35 million. I'm a 31 <laughs> points per game score. I'm an all-star. You're not good, bro. You, yeah, you're riding for your guy, but your guy is carrying you. I, I would, <laughs> yeah. me personally, if I was Bradley Bill, I'd have been like, just whatever, like, he can laugh what he wants. The NBA, it's not my friend. I'm not cool with him. Whatever. He's below me in terms of basketball. I don't need to tolerate this. In terms of putting myself in Ken Bazemore's shoes, I really don't know where he was going with this joke. It wasn't <laughs> funny. At like, all. You don't laugh at somebody's injury. A hamstring is a serious injury, too. Like, And this, they're fighting for a playoff spot over there. So this is not something to joke about. And his comments about him chasing Steph. First of all, Steph checks Twitter every halftime. So he probably seen Bradley Beal score the 50. This is not something new. Steph Curry checks Twitter all the time. Actually, he checks it after every quarter. So this isn't something new. Steph admitting that he checked, he saw the scores because he's always on Twitter. So Bradley Bill's not, I believe it. Bradley Bill's not chasing the scoring title. He's not chasing Steph. Bradley Bill for half of the year was actually up on Steph pretty big in the scoring column. I think Steph was at like 27, 28. He just recently got up to about 31. He's ahead of him right now. So he, Bradley Bill was never chasing him. I believe when he said he's just trying to get a win. But Ken Bazemore, he definitely went out of line because this is a so this is injuries. You know, this is something you shouldn't play around with because mm-hmm. people can get hurt and people could seriously lose their career, lose their love for the game with stuff like this. So this, especially when you're not good, bro. Like I've watched the Warriors play all the time. You're not good. Like you're not. He's good not. At, no, he's not. He's, good. he's not good. So yeah, you can't be doing stuff like that, especially to a guy who's at that superiority to you as a basketball player. Like he's not LeBron, but to you, he is LeBron. Yeah. So you can't <laughs> be doing those type of comments. You know, um, Kent Bazemore also has a history of being kind of a dirty player. There was two plays that I saw <laughs> against Washington where he oh, he God. pushed Beal after a play that happened, like, unnecessarily. Saw that. And then he also did the same thing to John Wall, and mm. both both times almost resulted in a fight, you know. But if I was Bradley Beal, I think I would have, you know, came at this in a different way, not in terms of not responding. I think I just would have responded better. 
I think all he didn't have many funny things in there. It was funny <laughs> because <laughs> it, it, it was funny He's because he, lame, it was funny because he was so I just angry. Post his stats, man. <laughs> like, just put it up there. That's all you need to do. Comparison: Go to that NBA tool, compare. You can do, you can do that. You can do that. Players. Come on. <laughs> on Twitter, you could do that. No, uh, oh, no. basketball reference yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. Compare yeah. seasons and all that. So, but if I was Bradley Beal, I would have said something even more like, "We can, you can fit silverware through your teeth," or. Oh. I don't know. Some oh, other things. Gap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I would just say something else. You know, I think say, that's what Bradley Beal's wife was trying to get at. <laughs> it was the gap. Yeah, we knew she was going to jump in immediately. <laughs> when Bradley Beal tweeted, uh, should I let her rock or whatever he tweeted, mm. his wife literally responded with like a Mortal Kombat finishing gift. Oh, no. Oh, no. He, she, he didn't oh, finish no. it. He did. Because actually, Kent had a great game that day. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. did. He actually had he a great said, game. And he just saved the Warriors the other day. So, yeah. Right, um, saying. Sir. You said Steph chases stats in. Uh, oh, that's what you said. Oh, you said that, right? You definitely said that. Not stats, not stats, not stats. That's what you the said. Scoring title, the scoring title. title. Yes, yeah, Steph, he did say yes. that. Not chasing the scoring title, bro. Okay, yeah, he is. <laughs> said, you I, I just disagree. Said, I think he, I disagree. said he checks halftime. He checks because he, he likes to see what people, what we say about him. So if he's like having a bad game, I actually like uh, I'll give you a funny story. It's gonna hurt your heart. Um, <laughs> game six, you know your your boys, Houston, James Harden and Chris Paul, and then when KD went down halftime, he had like. Two points. He's playing like garbage. This he went into Twitter, read everything we were saying about him. Like, oh, Steph is choking. He's playing like trash. <laughs> he read all it. Went out. Scored thirty three in the second half. Got the W. That's the type of guy he is. I mean, you you weren't wrong in what you were saying because Steph is is definitely chasing a scoring title this year. Because he knows that's the only thing he'll accomplish this uh -oh. year. Oh, while agree. Harden, while agree, Harden is down. going to try to go win a championship. Because oh. he, he gonna, plays winning the, basketball. Oh, you mean the championship Steph? Wait, wait, wait. I mean, you mean the same championship Steph has captured three times already? Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. He has, he has Kevin, Kevin Durant, Durant and Kyrie. You can't even say that no more. You wait, can't say that Kevin no more. Kevin Durant and Klay Thompson. And what does Draymond Harden have right Draymond. now? But he won ones with Klay, with Klay alone, though. Then he oh, won Klay and Draymond. But wait, wait. One with Klay and Draymond. What does Harden have right now? What does James Harden have? Yeah. The All-Star lineup. Okay, all right. So the yeah, All-Star right. lineup, come on. You can't on. even like. The All-Star like, lineup, come yeah, on. Yeah, get it, you know. And Harden's I mean, the best player what? on his team. Uh, Harden is Harden the best player. In the playoffs, so we know who's going to be that guy, that dominant man. Kevin James Durant. James Harden. Oh, you think oh, so? Yeah. Nah, Interesting. I, I completely disagree with this. KD you know, Steph Curry was never that guy for Warriors. It was KD. It was KD. Oh, just like it will be KD right here. It's going to be KD. It's not going to be James Harden. I mean, you're not going to win. James Harden. So it doesn't even matter. The Brooklynists are not going to win? Oh, calm down. Well, that's obviously your bias talking. 100%. Who's going to win? I mean, if they. No, I was. When he said oh. bias talk, I said 100%. After. Oh, okay, okay. But if you, oh, they get hurt, though, it's raps. I just well, of course, that. but barring yeah. injury, they are going to win. Yeah, I mean, That's why I have you chose this. I mean, you chose the snake route. You, know, uh, it, you chose the easy route. You know, you didn't I, grind it out. You know, greats. You know what's funny about James Harden? You know, his position. Greats like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant. You know, they thugged it, thugged it out. Long years of just riding out the franchise. And hopefully, they'll get us some help and we'll win championships. Even D Wade thugged it out for you know a couple of years. It, it just feels like he wants to be put in that realm, in that room of men who are just great at the game of basketball. Yeah. His position, but and he chose it. the snake route. It's it's weird to me. Nah, but think about it though. A lot, a lot of people of will a lot of people will say that there's like great players like Charles Barkley. Shaq roasts this man every single day <laughs> on the time. podcast because he doesn't have a ring. It sucks. And think about Can't it. A lot of people say, oh, I'm about to say. A lot of people say, oh, he was a great player, but he never got a ring. He never got a ring. <laughs> yeah, and Charles Barkley, Steve Nash, somebody was saying, Yeah, somebody was saying before that the ring chasing has become like a thing because of the fans in some way because we always roast people for saying they're great players but don't have rings. And so in some ways we created these players who like now they are they may be great, but they always want a ring now because we always look at them like, oh, you're great, you're good, but you never had a ring. So, so that was so that conclusion. Of the Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> Harden's going to win a ring. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah, you know who win one riding Katie's coattails? You know what happens. Yeah, he's definitely the right Katie's coattails. Steph, 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 Steph did that. You know? Definitely not riding Kevin Katie's coattails. Kevin Durant's rings have asterisks. Every time you oh, talk yeah, about Katie's definitely have asterisks. You say Kevin Durant has a ring, but what do you have to do to get that ring? It's going to be mm. the same thing with James Harden. I'm, like I'm just going to say right now, he's still gonna have asterisks don't matter. Oh, yeah. Of course you're going to say that, but you used to bash Curry for his little asterisk for his ring. So now we're just going to do the same thing. Yeah, but he still has a ring. It doesn't matter. Well, he yeah, also he has two MVPs, you know, a unanimous MVP. He has three rings, you know, so, you know. And he has also some MVPs he stole from Harden. That first one, he oh, definitely stole, stole. From Well, it's okay because Come that on. one unanimous is the better than one, everything yeah. Harden has ever won. He, he the deserved the first one. should have been Harden. Oh. Unanimous this, is the only MVP Curry deserved. Well, it's the best one ever. <laughs> Steph also chases. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. Steph this, also this, chases. This entire, he shot out 15 fourth quarters. This entire year, 
you have been raving about Steph being some type of MVP player. When I never said Warriors, he should be the MVP. When though. the Warriors were losing all the time, they're the tenth seed. But they're the eighth. Talking okay. He's the and wait, wait, and wait to be fair, when but Steph when, plays, when, when Steph was the MVP, his first MVP, yeah. Harden was the second seed and had better stats than Curry. Mm. But shit, you want to give it to Curry? Okay, that's just biased. I mean, okay, advanced stats said he was, you know, his. When shares was Aren't higher. you the same guy that doesn't like advanced stats? We're talking about the MVP though. You don't. Know, you're the same guy that hates analytics. Yeah, in the park. When we're arguing in the park, why are you telling me about analytics, bro? It's well, we're talking about the MVP. I mean, Steph Curry has been an MVP player all year. Caliber. Yeah. Let's let's be realistic. If he when Harden he, was playing better. I mean, yeah, but when he's if he when the games he's actually played, they actually are the same record as the Portland Trailblazers right now, which is a six seed. So all that eighth seed, ten seed nonsense. Yeah, he they were one and seven when he and doesn't was play. Was the second seed. Oh, he has Kevin Durant and Kyrie. Good look, good no, for him. No, not this year. I'm talking about the year that Curry robbed him of MVP. Oh, but then the year after, Steph won 73 games. Oh, yeah. Draymond and Clay made a big leap that year. I mean, but, but that's Steph not, made that's the still, biggest leap. That's still Draymond nope. and Clay. That's not that's not Harden and Kyrie. Say it again. Say it one more time. <laughs> just say it one more time. <laughs> I mean, that's, the, that's the real truth. Yeah, just say it one Draymond, more time. Draymond, really. I mean, he won 73 games. Clay, Clay's, Clay's, about to say, Clay's hey, great, man. but Clay is not Kyrie. Neither is he KD. So you have to say Warriors, you say? Warriors are, would never be the Warriors if they never had Dre. They would never Dre be the Warriors. That's that's true. True. That's that's true. Steph that's made true. them Still. a billion dollar know. organization. You give of them course. hard and they, they're the same thing. You think they so? Relax. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, they are. In Steve nah, Kerr's system? Come on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Replace, replace Steph with James Harden. And it's the same exact thing. He's Stop. ridiculous. No. Stop. Yes. No. no. He win a championship. No. Because no. James, James could Curry, have beat that team. Wait, so is, is Curry winning a championship with Dwight Howard, Trevor Reza, and Jason Terry? No. He's doing what Harden didn't do, but Harden isn't doing what he he's did. He's not making the Western team. Conference Finals with that team. I mean, wasn't that the year he blew it? To, uh, no, no, that was the year where um, they came back. It was the, the Clippers, comeback. right? Yeah, not him. Josh, Josh Smith, Smith and them, not James yeah, Harden. Yeah. Josh Smith and oh, them. They came back. Right? Harden yeah, yeah. played great after that game, and he <laughs> he didn't play too bad that game either. Yeah, I mean, he played right. he played an exceptional closeout game seven game. So, 